Hi and welcome to the show. Today I have the privilege of being joined by two amazing guests, very passionate in their quest for a better Africa. They are the founding members of USA for Africa, the organization that put together We Are the World, the song that became the anthem of the 20th century. Ken Cragen and Dr. Lloyd Gregg, welcome to The Scoop. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure, pleasure. to have you here. Thank it's you. It's really, really good to see you guys. Thank you for making the time to be on the show. How difficult was it to get this all together, get some of the biggest artists of the 20th century together in one room to record a song for Africa? How do you convince them <laughs> to do something like this? Ken? Well, in the first place, I feel like I, my entire life had prepared me for that moment, that I, I was the hottest manager in the business with biggest clients at that point. So I was had that access mm -hmm. that to begin with. Who were uh, some of the people you managed? I managed Kenny Rogers, Lionel Richie, Olivia Newton-John. I had Lindsey Buckingham. I had Kim Carnes, who most of your viewers wouldn't mm -hmm. know. But so when Harry Belafonte called me two days before Christmas and say, look, have you seen these pictures on television of these children dying in Africa? We've got to do something. I was in a position to take immediate action. I literally had, by the next morning, I had Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson, and at that time, Stevie Wonder writing the song. I had Quincy Jones uh, uh, producing it. When Bruce Springsteen said yes, I never made another outgoing call. Everyone just started calling From, you. Because they all wanted to stand next yeah. to Bruce Springsteen. They all, yeah. He was the hippest, hottest. He was <laughs> the boss. What are some of the other projects that you've done on the continent in how many countries? And can you tell me a little the, bit about them the, now? The interesting thing is that the, the one that was quite um, interesting is that we were in the island of Zanzibar recently. And um, we had actually funded uh, some project there with uh, the Sundance Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Ken and Marcia can talk about that later on. That is an incredible uh, project. But we were having lunch and the lady came over and asked Marcia, said, do you remember me? And she said, several years ago, you helped me with a small uh, donation to start this um, thing in the arts. He said, no, I have developed it into the Zanzibar International Film Festival, which is internationally res re respected. Mm -hmm. And she said, I was not able to do that without your help. The show's called The Scoop, gentlemen. I need you guys to give me something about yourselves that hopefully nobody else in the world knows. Should we start with you, Dr. Gray? <laughs> You've been thinking about it for a while. Oh, well, one thing that nobody knows about me is that I know this time Thank, Thank you. you so much, Ken. Thank, Thank you. you, Dr. Greg. It's Anytime, wonderful. My friend. It was wonderful. And Thank you so much for your Great. time. You and you realize you're good to you. Know.